Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Head Gravity Pro 2023. The heaviest member of the Gravity family gets updated for 2023 with auxetic technology to help the racket flex optimally at impact. With nearly identical specs to the previous version, it features a 100 square inch head, 18 by 20 string bed, 20 millimeter beam, and 11.7 strong weight. Head has made some slight edits to make this racket an even more solid option for advanced ball strikers looking for precision with a blend of controllable power and a comfortable package. I don't typically gravitate towards rackets like these, and by these I mean that thinner beam with the 18 by 20 string pattern, but because it's in 100 square inches and it has that swing weight above 330, I really felt connected to this racket and enjoyed how it played. Very seamless transition from, from the previous one with that added aesthetic, making it feel even more solid this iteration. Um, I felt really connected to my shots and that definitely manifested off my returns where I could really go big and sometimes I swing too big, but I appreciated the precision and the control that I gained from this racket. The feel was amazing. I like how it's not too noodly and it still feels really stable for a player that tends to gravitate towards those very stable frames. At net, there was tons of feel and it was awesome. And on serves, it was great as well. So all in all, no complaints. It picks up right where that previous one left off and it's even more solid. So it was a great hitting experience. Always excited to be named to a play test, especially a racket that I enjoy so much. Two iterations ago, I was gravitating big time towards the Gravity Pro. Really like this racket. Hasn't been a big change in the racket. That tells me that it's very popular uh, design overall with players. It's still got the same 20 millimeter beam. I really like the way an 18 main reacts with a 100 square inch head size and a 315 gram uh, frame weight works great. Uh, again, not a big change. Uh, you've heard me say this before, where some of the technologies, the manufacturers really want you to be able to notice and call out. I can't honestly say I can do that. With the Oxetic technology, I definitely notice it. So between um, the prior two versions and this one, these rackets feel a little more plush without sacrificing any kind of uh, energy return or uh, power from the frame itself. So just a great all court frame. Backhand slice complemented nicely, always with an 18 main. Just, I don't really have a favorite shot with it. Again, just a great play test in a versatile all court racket for me. As soon as I picked up this update to the Head Gravity Pro and held it in my hand, um, I knew I was getting a nice, solid, uh, stable, hefty filling racket. Um, hitting from the baseline, um, I definitely noticed that swing weight, like the previous version, kind of in that mid 330 range. Um, just getting a lot of plow through. Um, really love the stable, solid feel on contact. And I also really like the, uh, the thin beam profile of this racket. You just get a ton of feel, um, whether it's on the backhand slice or when coming to net, lots of touch and feel from uh, kind of that thin beam uh, frame here. Uh, compared to that previous version with the Auxetic technology, um, I really felt like it is, you know, very solid. It gives it a nice kind of a slightly crisper, cleaner feel, I think. But uh, really, the previous version was a great filling racket as well. So um, really like this racket. If I had to make any changes to it, I might add a little bit of tail weight just to make it a little bit more head light. And if I had my druthers, I'd maybe like to try this pro version with just a slightly more open pattern. But all in all, just a really solid filling stick from the baseline in all areas of the court. I was a big fan of the original version of the Gravity Pro, so super stoked to get a chance to hit this one. And the specs between this one and the one I was hitting before, the, the OG version, were really close. It was super easy to transition between the two and what I was getting on the ball in terms of pace and spin and just that really solid plush feel was very, very similar between the two rackets. And the biggest difference for me was my precision with the update. If I was doing just a cross goal forehand drill, for instance, just suddenly all my forehands were just in a nice tighter grouping than they were with the original version of this racket. And then when I was looking in a match situation to put the ball away, hit a passing shot, or hit that approach shot, I was able to flirt with the lines more so with this update, just because I felt more precise with my placement of the ball. On serve, good access to uh, pace with this one. Worked well on my slice serve, that's kind of my go-to serve, either slicing to the body or a slice out wide and my two strengths there on the do side and I was hitting that so those serves really well with this racket. Up and net, ton of feel and control as you would expect from a Gravity Pro, so my touch volleys were working really well and it's also got the stability there 
to handle a heavy incoming ball. So if someone's really cranking that passing attempt, you get the racket on it, this one stays nice and solid in the hand. So enjoyed that aspect ever as well. Really nice update and a racket I really enjoyed testing. We had a chance to play test the Head Gravity Pro 2023 with a variety of strings, but loved it best with Head Links Tour at 52 pounds. To learn more about this racket and many others, please visit us at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.